Welcome back. Now, working from home or WFH <laughs> is the new norm for thousands still lucky enough to remain employed. And if you're one of them, it could mean a boost to your income tax in at tax time. Yeah, from computers to tablets, electricity to water, your new home office could make you eligible for some extra deductions. That's, what's we, that's what we need. Sweet word, rare deductions. <laughs> deductions. For more, we are joined by finance expert Helen Baker. Good morning, Helen. Hey, Helen. Morning. How are you? We are fine. Let's start with the running costs. What are they and what percentage can we claim? Yeah, so this has been an interesting move by the government. So you could always claim a percentage or an allocated amount as an actual cost, depending on whether you had private residence or whether you were working from home. And just in the last week, they've adjusted that. So you can claim electricity, lighting, cleaning, air con, all those kind of things that you'd normally do in the office, stationery and so on. Right. And there's three methods. So the shortcut method that was announced in the last week allows you to just charge 80 cents per hour. So you don't have to uh, work out all the receipts so much as before and allocate everything. If you do have an increase to that though and you think I'd actually be entitled to a bigger claim because I'm using it so much more, then you maybe want to look at the next method and that looks at how much is personal use, how much is private use and then there's the actual cost method as well. So what, it's about what works out the most for you. Well, I guess it, working from home though, Helen, the thing that's really gone up in, in all of our bills, especially with the kids homeschooling, mm -hmm. is our phone, our internet bills. This is going to be big slug for us coming up. Right. So you could claim about $50 a year as a tax deduction for the phone, but you could also go through your bill and it's 10 cents a text, 25 cents for a call or 75 cents to a mobile call. So if you add those up, maybe it's more than $50. So you might want to track those. The internet is probably one of those where there's private use and personal use unless you had to upgrade. So you might have had a package that said, I'll cover X and now you've had to bump that package up to ensure that you've covered everything that you need. So it's about recognising what those costs are and keeping um, track of those, actually. OK, but if you're going to claim it, you need to have home proof. So tell us exactly what that is. Home proofing at the moment sounds more like sanitisation and disinfectant, <laughs> right? But the home proofing here is about tracking in a diary for four weeks about where those expenses are, doing log books, particularly if you're having to run out to the post office, office works, those kind of things. And then the one I like is the ATO app. And you can take a photo of the receipt. So that helps when they're fading or to, that you might forget what you need to claim. And you can allocate those to stationery or whatever it is so that you can track those easily. So make sure you keep a diary and keep a track of these amounts in case you do get audited. All right, Helen, what are some of the uh, odd things, the unexpected things that people might be eligible to claim? Yeah, so if you do have that separate entry, you might even be able to claim toilet paper. Who oh. What? Um, so you might have to look at that one. There's bulbs, which is lighting that people often might forget. They'll charge mm -hmm. the electricity, but not the bulb. Audit insurance is very good because if you do get audited, that'll cover the amount that your accountant spends talking to the ATO for you. There's a, a ton of things out there that you might want to chat to your accountant about and see if they're right for you. All right, Helen, look, thank you for your time. And we know that you were a bit uh, messed around with uh, one of our bookings yesterday, so we really appreciate your patience as well. Thanks, You're Helen. You're very welcome. God bless.